Other areas seeing damage after the storm is in Lemon Grove, where sinkholes have now formed in Little League fields and will likely cost a lot to fix. Yeah, those fields are now closed, but the spring baseball season just weeks away. Our Christelle Kumwe, she joins us now live with more on this. Christelle. Yeah, we're told the fields turned into swimming pools, completely saturated to the point where the ground completely got fell in uh, some parts. Now, the problem is that is that uh, tryouts are exactly a week away from today, Saturday, and opening day, March 9th. And now, uh, today, I had a chance to speak with some parents and kids who are hoping the damage can be fixed sooner rather than later so they can play ball. I play baseball, I'm a catcher. That's 14-year-old Max. You can usually find him here on one of the Lemon Grove Little League baseball fields. I've been playing on this field for a long time, probably since I was like five, maybe. But he may have to press pause on those games and practices. I've met so many good friends. I've met, I've played with them my whole life. Um, I've had so many like good memories on this field, so kind of kind of sucks if it's gone. The historic rainfall Monday severely damaged the fields. On Monday when we had all the rain, our fields were flooded. It looked like it was like a swimming pool right here. These pictures show some of that flooding. I'm not expecting it to be that bad. League treasurer Yohaira Preciado says since the fields were soaked, the ground completely gave away in some areas. We had a couple of mudslides appear on our field, so we have two on this, our majors field. We have one like in between the fields and we have one on our minors field. The Little League had to close two of its fields. Preciado says it may cost $20,000 or more to repair the damage. We have a few options, but they're all very costly. So even if we do have a little bit of money saved in our bank accounts for a rainy day, it's not enough to cover what it's probably going to cost us to do this. There is a short-term solution as they welcome hundreds of kids for tryouts next weekend. We're going to fence it off so that we can still continue. We won't use this field. We'll use the surrounding fields because we do have five fields here. But many, like Max hope a more permanent solution is on the horizon. It sucks to hear because like all the new generations of kids aren't going to be able to play on it if it continues to stay damaged. Now at this point the league is uh, open to any type of help whether that be advice on how to fix this resources to potentially fix it and of course donations. We'll have more information on our website at fox5sandiego.com. Live in Lemon Grove, Christelle Kumwe, Fox 5 News. Christelle, thank you so much for that.